is my little day in a life on the weekend. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you is how I do my makeup and then I'm gonna show you everything that I bought at Target. Here's a better view of the makeup. So my makeup has changed a lot recently just because I've noticed that when someone has oily skin like myself, the best thing to do is use concealer and then all the rest of the products should be powder. So I kind of switched it up. So now I just do a little bit of concealer under my eyes and then I just go on where I have like red spots and blemishes just on them. And by the way, guys, I'm using the Hourglass Concealer. I love this stuff because it melts into the skin and it's pretty much full coverage and I use it on a daily basis so I definitely love this concealer. I also tried the Tarte one and I really did like that one um, but for the meantime I'm gonna stick to my hourglass one because it's just so good and that's how much I usually put on and then I go in with a beauty blender and I just blend everything out. And then I go with a baby beauty blender to blend uh, the concealer under my eyes. And then after that, I go in with a pressed powder all over my face. And I go in with this shade. It's by Maybelline and 220 Neutral Beige. And I also noticed that powder products, like, they crease less at the end of the day than, like, cream products. And I definitely could wear cream products. It's just that when you're, like, you know, working an eight-hour shift, it's best to do that. But if I'm going out, I'll definitely, you know, put on foundation or something like that. Just because I know I won't have to do too much touch-ups and then I go in with a translucent powder just under my eyes and to cut my um, jawline I'm basically running out I use the airspun one I've had this one for years you know I made the decision not to spend so much money on makeup because it's like ridiculous the prices of like good makeup um, especially if I, I only use like powder products like I said I guess I'm gonna invest into that but you know, not spend money on things that I don't need. Um, so I just do this. I cut my nose um, basically like a V. And that's what I've noticed that gives the best shape. Um, it makes it look like a button nose. So that's like my technique if you guys want to get a nice slim button nose. And then I just do this to go underneath where the contour is going to sit. And I use a dense brush just because I've noticed that sits the best. And I go up top. Just going up top. I also um, really just comb my eyebrows with the Elf Freeze. Eyebrow Freeze because I really just don't like when you know, filling them in. It just takes too much time. I'd rather just comb them up and it sits well the whole day. I feel like it's comparable to the ABH Cosmetics one. So I'm gonna actually be repurchasing that today with a bunch of other stuff that I'm gonna show you after, you know, I do my makeup. Yeah, we're gonna go do a little Target run with my grandma and see, you know, what else I need and what else she needs. So that's pretty much it for the bronzer. And then we will just be going in with some blush. And you wanna use this type of brush so that it sits better. I love blush so much, especially powder blush because it just ties the whole look together, brings color to your face. I know some people even use blush to contour their nose. So that's kind of like what I'm doing. I'm just contouring my nose with some blush. I didn't find my telescopic mascara. I know where it is. It's in my like work bag. But the thing is I'm too lazy to go downstairs. So I'm just going to be 
using this one that I do have upstairs. It's by Illy, I think. And I've just been collecting my points for Sephora so I can get something. So I wonder what I'll get after racking up all the points because I already have like 300 something points. But I also heard that Sephora's like point system isn't the best like point system that they have out there so you don't always get to get like good gifts so yeah this is the Ilya mascara and it smells like honey mixed with like something else i don't know i've also heard that there's this mascara it's called like the serum mascara it's it has a turquoise packaging so i kind of want to try that mascara after i run out of the ones that i do have um because why not grow your lashes while wearing mascara right this one is by ColourPop, and it broke um so that's you know that's not always fun but what i do like about this one is be it's affordable and also it's really creamy i've had it for like a year now and i go halfway on my waterline from both sides I feel like this really brings out my brown eyes so much more and I blend it out with my finger. Amazing how much it can bring out your brown eyes. I think brown eyes are beautiful. And I think I want to put, actually I don't want to put the highlight in the corner of my eyes. I feel like that's still 2011, but let me go get the white liner to use as a highlight on my nose. So I'm just going to be putting on this NYX liner on my nose, just in the center, like the button. It's super simple. This is my everyday makeup routine and I love it. I'm so passionate about it. Um, but no, for real, like, I think this makeup is super clean. Um, it's kind of like the clean girl makeup. And if you have oily skin, the best thing you can do for your skin is use powder products and also use a toner uh, with niacinamide and vitamin C. A really good one that I recommend is by Good Molecules. It really lightens hyperpigmentation, but it also helps with the oil production in your face. So I really do love that one. And this is my final makeup guide. So it turns out that my grandma doesn't want to go because it's raining, but I still get to run to Target because if I don't this week, then I won't for the rest of the week because, you know, I go to the gym after work and it just, you know, would conflict with my schedule. So before I run out the door, I like to spray on my favorite perfume. This one is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I really like the smell because it's super feminine, but it's not overpowering with the sweetness. So I love this scent and I'm just spraying on a little bit but the thing is me if it's raining I will not wear a cute fit I actually went to Moe's this is my first time getting Moe's and I'm so excited to try it for you and tell you how it tastes like because I always get Chipotle and someone recommended Moe's so I was like you know what it's time for me to try something different you know I love trying new food and trying out new places, so I figured I would try something new. So I'm gonna tell you what I got. I got the bowl, bowl home wrecker. That's what it's called with queso on the side. I'm not sure what I put since you know this is my first time getting it, but I put tofu, lettuce, um, two different salsas, uh, guac, and what else did I put? Corn, I think. Actually, did he put corn? I'm not sure if he put. Yeah, he did put corn. Put corn, and we put fresh uh, jalapenos in here. I love shaking up my bowls. I don't know how people don't shake up the bowls. You gotta shake it up so it can absorb all the saucy flavor. Um, hopefully, I don't make a mess in my car. Like that and. I'm gonna put hand sanitizer before I eat because I'm a big germaphobe, especially in 
you know, all the viruses going around today. We don't want to catch anything. And I also got some queso, but I'm going to try this with just the chip. It looks so delicious. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. But, um, yeah, I'm super excited to try this. It looks bomb. Oh, and I put, like, some veggies in here as well. Oop. Gotta go from the other side. Oop. The chip, please don't break. It's my mouth. It's way better than Chipotle. I feel like Chipotle is like... Tofu is like low-key over-seasoned. So I think this is really bomb. I also used to live in Cali. And I loved in and out I wish there was an in and out on the East Coast. This is so good, guys. I wish you could try it. I also went to Moe's because... A lot of the times when I get Chipotle, like, my stomach hurts. So, I don't know if it's something that I'm getting. I do have IBS, so, like, I'm more intolerant to dairy. But, I don't know. This is really good, and it doesn't, like, feel like it would make me sick. Go get you some mode. So, the first thing that I bought at Target today was the... Quirky Kitty. This is like silver nip, super potent catnip blend with silver vine. My cats love it. Like my literal orange kitty, he was like rolling around in it. And then my other cat, I feel like it had no effect on her. She was just like chilling there, but she's usually like more quiet. So that's that. Um, I then got the Vanacream Daily Facial Moisturizer. So I've heard good things about this moisturizer and I've been using CeraVe. For quite some time now and I felt like I wanted to try something new for sensitive skin so this is what I got um, if you have sensitive skin I heard this is gonna work out for you pretty well as well and then I got the Garnier glazed walnut 500 deep medium natural brown so I basically bleached my hair before to get it like super red, even though I'm already a redhead. I went from more of like an auburn color, so I don't know why I bleached it. And now like my front pieces are more orange than they should be when my hair is naturally like this color. So I just want to freshen it up before I get my hair cut next week. So I got it and I'm excited to shoot a video for that as well, so stay tuned. I then got the UV Reflect Antioxidant SPF 50, and I believe it's mineral based. Um, let's see. It's made with organic chemical sunscreen filters, raspberry, cruelty free, paraben free, gluten free, and vegan. I did not know that it's chemical, but it's okay because, you know, it's nothing's gonna happen if you just use it for quite some time. It's if you keep only using chemical sunscreens, then th there might be an effect. So I actually got this for my mom. It's SPF 50 and I think this is gonna be great for her. It's by Naturium. I do love the brand Naturium just because they have a lot of like clean products. And I think that for an SPF 50 and 1.7, you know, fluid ounces, that's Pretty reasonable for $25 when La Roche Posay is selling it at like 40 something bucks for the same amount. So we got that, and then I also got the e.l.f. Brow Lift. It's infused with aloe vera. It's this brow freeze that I'm actually wearing on my eyebrows today. And 
I'm running out of it, so that's why I rebought it. I love this stuff because I don't have to fill my eyebrows. I just comb them up, and there you go. Like you already have a clean, put together makeup look. And the last thing that I got were some cans by Fancy Feast. So we had our cats on Royal Cannon, and that's because one of my other cats had like urinary, you know, scaries. So in the meantime, we're trying to get them to get off of the dry food because dry food is actually just a convenience for cats and it doesn't really have a lot of benefits. So we're trying to get them on a regular eating schedule and they used to love Fancy Feast. Fancy Feast is pretty good. I got them four different flavors to see which ones they're going to like. I got the Chicken and Tuna Feast Flaked. I then got the Tender Beef uh, Feast Classic Pate. This is the first one. This is the Tender Beef Feast one, Classic Pate. I got the Chopped Grill Feast Classic Pate. And I got the Chicken Feast Classic Pate. So let's hope that my cat likes these. And that is all for my little haul, little Target run for the weekend. Um, my next video is going to be really exciting, so stay tuned, you guys. Bye.